Several threats to shoot up two Fort Wayne community schools surfaced on Facebook this week. They sent parents into panic mode until police determined they weren't credible. The post have Fort Wayne community schools and law enforcement working together to get a handle on the problem. Fox 55's Gentile Nil tells us what they're doing and how you can help. Gentile. Hunter, when anybody wants to know what's going on, this is typically the first place that they go to. But everyone has to keep in mind not everything you see is true. That's why Fort Wayne Community Schools and police don't want you to share posts like this. Take a look. Last week, parents and students were alarmed when this came across their timelines. It was actually before um, he went to school. So I found out about it before he actually was getting ready to go to school. So I told him to stay home because I'm not taking any chances. This came after another threat regarding Southside High School last week. Montgomery is especially concerned since she has children at both schools. You hear every day about the shootings on TV and everyone's like, we never thought this would happen. Fort Wayne Community Schools alerted parents that the threats weren't credible, but by then they had already spread far and wide. We hear lots of rumors, and so they aren't always involving a threat, but we hear a lot of rumors. And so we want to do our best to make sure that when we share information with parents, it's valid information. We are not going to cause undue anxiety or panic. We want to keep a safe learning environment. And part of keeping a safe learning environment is making sure that the building is calm. District spokeswoman Krista Stockman says whenever the district hears something, they work with police right away. The only way that we can address the issue and make sure that it isn't a real threat is by investigating. Fort Wayne Police Sergeant Jim C. says these kind of threats are always taken seriously and lead to time behind bars once they find out who's behind the post. Actually, it could range anywhere from one to six years if they add or, you know, so yeah, it'd be one to six years. $10,000 fine. Fort Wayne Community Schools has a place on their website called Let's Talk. That's a portal where people can go in and send information. The newest feature is one where you can report a threat. So you should report it right away. But first, your first step should be reporting it to police and not social media. Reporting live, Gentil Nil, Foss, 55 News.